Edith Newell Jones is born the youngest of a wealthy New York family of five in 1862. She was very fortunate in her childhood. Her family took many trips to Europe and she got to live in places such as Germany and Florence while being tutored at home. She began writing at an early age, and at the age of just 16, her collection of poetry, titled Verses, was privately published. Among those who got to read it was Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. At the age of 23, she married a man named Edward Wharton, who was later diagnosed to have bipolar disorder. When Edith was 40, she and her husband moved into a house called the Mount, which they had built in Massachusetts. At the age of 46, she had a summer love affair with Morton Fullerton. The following year, her husband admitted to embezzling $50,000 from her trust funds. He later compensated her for this loss. At the age of 59, she won the Pulitzer Prize for her novel, Age of Innocence. She is the first woman to ever win the prize in that category. The Age of Innocence is a deeply personal novel to Edith. She was in a loveless marriage for almost 30 years. She divorced her husband in 1913, and after that she had a nervous breakdown. This novel takes place in the society of turn-of-the-century New York, where Edith grew up. In this aristocracy, tradition is everything, and divorce is absolutely scandalous. It is described in the books as, a society wholly absorbed in barricading itself against the unpleasant. The main character of the novels is Newland Archer, who is a young lawyer engaged to a girl named May Welland. The book also states, Newland Archer had been aware of these things ever since he could remember, and had accepted them as a part of the structure of his universe. Newland falls in love with May's cousin, Ellen Lenska. Ellen is currently separated from her husband in Europe, who cheated on her, and she wishes to get a divorce. Ellen is kind-hearted and different. She seems to see through society. Newland says to Ellen in the novel, I, I want to somehow get away with you into a world where words like that, categories like that, won't exist where we shall be simply two human beings who love each other, who are the whole of life to each other, and nothing else on earth will matter. This novel gives such deep insight into Edith's world, and into how she felt within her own marriage. Edith Wharton's books made quite an impact on society. She is one of the greatest authors of her time, and some of her works are still widely recognized today. A few of her other most popular books were Ethan Frome, Summer, and The House of Mirth. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.